Hey guys, welcome back to another Semi Live. It is Friday before spearing, February 11th. We are out here, we're marking our holes and we're gonna be cutting them in here shortly. So we're gonna take you through uh, day one here. We're gonna show you how we cut our holes in. Uh, the guys are bringing the saws out here pretty shortly and then Andrew and I have to put our shacks in. So we're gonna take you through that, fly the drone around a little bit and then uh, tomorrow's opening day. So we'll be running cameras out here all weekend. So stay tuned for that. We enjoy uh, bringing this to you and hopefully me or Andrew can get a fish on the ice. So we're out here right now. Andrew's shack is right there. I'm gonna kind of show you how we spread out. My shack is right over my shoulder over there. So Andrew right now is checking depth right now. He's trying to figure out if he wants to stay where he is or move. That's where it is. Oh no. We can't. We can't fuck. This is way too close. You gotta stop. That's enough of that. Come on, give me something. This looks I got legit. nothing for you. You got nothing? Nope. It's all what on Avery. What are you hoping for this year? It's all on Avery this year. She picked the spot. She picked the decoys. She's got the tag. I'm just a, I'm just a follow up spear. <laughs> Avery, what do you got? I'm gonna beat Andrews. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you do. What was yours? Uh, 139 and uh, 78 something inches. Easy. It was only the third biggest on the lake two years ago. I'm not concerned. Piece of cake, right? <laughs> <laughs>
Well, good morning, day number one here. Opening morning. Pretty excited. See what happens this morning. Got everything down in the water yesterday as far as my pipe siding go. Uh, this is the first year I'm running siding actually. Usually I just run uh, pipes for X's. My buddies were nice enough. They threw a couple together for me. So I got those down there. So sometime this morning I'll kind of show you guys my setup that I run um, usually and uh, show you the spears, all that kind of thing. And then uh, in the meantime, hopefully you can get a fish. So it's opening day. Um, we're gonna kick things off, hopefully in a good way, get some fish on uh, somewhere, at least in the group. So stay tuned, hopefully we can connect. It's going on about eight o'clock right now. Figured I uh, would run you through kind of my setup here. Kind of went over it a little bit last year. If you watched last year's spearing video, um, but it's a little different this year. So as you can see, I'm running two spears in here, which you can do legally. So I got one spear to my right, one to my left, pretty much wherever the fish is, that's the spear I'm gonna grab. The other one's for a backup. Um, in case I get a really big one on, or it's just myself like it is now in the shack, then I can throw both spears and uh, have a backup spear. So that's why those are there. My decoy lines are down there. I got one decoy down right now, just a plain old coffee mug, white coffee mug. And then as you can see in the water, I got a set of pipes as an X on the left, and then two uh, X's made out of uh, vinyl siding down there. Really widens my depth of range where I can see down there with the siding this year. Usually I was just running three inch pipe, but now I got the siding. I can really see everything down there. It's lit up really nice. We're in about 11 feet of water right now. So you can see everything clear this year, which is really nice. Um, obviously up here, you can see this is where my rope ball hangs and they're tied into those eye bolts that I showed you in last week's semi live. That way if a fish runs, it takes off, it can't go anywhere, it's hooked into the wall. Um, and then back behind me is where I have that table that I showed you last week. My CB's hooked up right behind me and um, little Vexlar battery is all it runs off of. So pretty slick idea there. Super nice, it'll last me pretty much all week. Um, and it's small, convenient. And then down between my legs, I obviously have the Mr. Heater um, hooked up to my propane tank. And usually I'll hook it to a 20 pound tank. That'll last me about four or five days, leaving it on low. Keeps the hole clean, open, and uh, good to go. Uh, but that pretty much wraps up everything I got in here. The only other thing that I do have that I should mention is my gaff hook. My gaff hook hangs over on the left side right by the door. So that way, if I do call a buddy, he can grab the gaff hook right away as he comes in the door and he's ready to gaff my fish for me. So it's pretty much my setup I'm running this year. Like I said, 11 feet of water, it's clear. Hopefully we get a fish to come by. 12.56, my buddy Andrew's wife just speared one opening day. So pretty sweet. I will, uh, we're gonna spear here for four more minutes. We're gonna wrap everything up and then I'll take you over there and show them the fish. But pretty sweet stuff. They're only like 60 yards from me, so pretty awesome. It's her first fish. Supposedly it's over 100 pounds. You have it. You have it? Yeah. Okay, get everything out. Reel this up. Reel this up. Can yeah. I let it go? I can... Yep, no, just pull it like oh, this. Get know. everything out. Get everything out. Get it out. That's fine. You got it. Troy, grab the gap. Give me the gap, Troy. Gap it, Troy. Gap it, Troy. That's a big mother. Troy. What do we got? Okay, okay. Little tag team. Fucking tag team, Katie, Katie saw two there's two of them, I guess. And she's what? just like not she was just like nonchalant. She's like, oh, oh there's, not nonchalant. It was pretty nonchalant. Like she compared to what I would have done. She was like, oh yeah, there's one. There's one. And I'm like, 
Okay. There's one. There. I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, you. So I grabbed it. I'm like, you see it, Avery? You see it? It was coming right, right underneath us. And Avery threw first, hit her, and the old yeah. double team. Yes. There's definitely two spears. Woo! <laughs> There's I two win. spears when I gaffed it. There was two spears when I gaffed it. Yes. It, didn't, it didn't rip out till that son of a bitch was on the deck. Not yet. Not yet. Huh? Like ten, ten minutes, minutes ago? ago. Ten minutes ago. Really? Yeah. We had five minutes. It was it was uh it was twelve fifty five when we You're drug it out. There's shit everywhere. It looks the same on the inside as the outside. Hey, cut yourself. No, no cuts. She was all tangled up in there. Troy, Troy gaffed it and pulled it out, and then shit just went bad. Was I was holding it so tight, I was not letting it go back in the water. Avery, did you do that? Yes. What did I tell you last night? Then I was gonna get one. Nice fish. That's a Monday. All of that, all bad. Nice one, babe. Good job. Well, you won the first fish boat. She was on it, too. I was on it. Good thing. I got to get two more people on it. You got Billy and his mom. Here's you. I'll hand it over to you. See where it says the bottom half. That came out, obviously. I don't know, man. Nice. Oh, we skipped last one. Good morning, guys. Day number two here. Yesterday was pretty slow until Avery uh, speared that one at about 10 to, 10 to 1 or 5 to 1, something like that. So that was pretty sweet. First fish, first year buying a tag. I wish I could uh, have some of that luck. Um, but still pretty exciting. We had a good time yesterday. Everybody uh, congratulated her, and that's the best part about going to them, them small town bars and hanging those fish up. and. Just seeing all the camaraderie that goes into this sport, which is pretty sweet. But day number two, we're back in the shack. Hopefully today's the day for us. Um, all you can do is sit and wait. <laughs> I wish you knew when it was going to come together, but you just don't know. So I'm going to sit here for another day and uh, hope for the best. Just got to be ready. It can happen at any moment. going to be a wrap on day two here pretty slow day again today um, didn't have any fish speared in the group no one missed no one seen anything that I know of anyway on the CB so we'll be back out tomorrow Monday morning give her another crack at this thing so we'll be out probably till later in the week at least I'm not really sure how long I'll do this because um, now starting starting now tomorrow I'll just be sitting by myself all week, so it gets pretty long, days get long, so see what happens, but day two's a wrap. We're going to pull these spears here and uh, head back home. Well, good morning, guys. Day number six here, and uh, still at it. Still haven't seen anything. Seen one northern so far this week and one eel pout, but other than that, been pretty slow. The group as a whole has also been slow. Uh, we speared one other fish on would have been Monday morning. Um, another buddy of mine to the north of me got one. Nice fish, about 55 inch or so. Other than that, it's been dead around here. We've heard of some fish getting speared around us, but uh, nothing in our group and nothing through my hole. So this is probably going to be the last day that I am out here. I got some work to do uh, tomorrow and Saturday. Um, and stuff like that so that's probably going to wrap up my season unless i go sit in somebody else's shack for a few hours but um so hopefully hopefully today's the day we can get some last minute luck um this sport drives me nuts every year <laughs> but uh you gotta stay positive till the end so that's what we're gonna do sit in here and see what happens last day
it is right away this morning. I just got in the shack, 755. Just messing around, doing some stuff. Looked down right under my feet. All of a sudden, everything got dusted out, which means there's a fish right here somewhere. I have not seen him yet, but he literally had to be right underneath me. So there's something close. It's got the heart racing. We just need him to come back in and look at this decoy. He was literally right here. He had to be. You can see my hole is completely clouded up now. And I could see where the dust started. He was right underneath my foot somewhere. So pretty exciting stuff. Hopefully, hopefully he can come back. He had to be right under me feeding or doing something in the mud. So we'll see. He's close. Well, we were down to the, about the last hour here, day six. Just had another little bit of action, another lawyer eel pout come across perfect right on the pipes, went right under the hole. So we've seen something today again, just not the right fish. So today is gonna be gonna be the last day. I'm gonna end up pulling my shack here when the day's over today, and that'll be it for for me for the year. So hopefully here in the next hour we can get one. Otherwise. Uh, We'll be back at you here in a little bit and uh, tear the shack down, drop it on the Jeep and, and call her a year. So fingers crossed we can get it done here in the last little bit. guys well that's gonna wrap up this week's semi live out here hope you guys enjoyed coming along for a little bit of spearing Saturday we had some action Avery got her first fish so that was pretty awesome to see and then it was slow pretty much the rest of the week besides uh, my other buddy getting one on Sunday so tune in next week we're gonna have more content coming down the pipe for you guys uh, too bad I couldn't get a fish but there's always next year so stay tuned next week semi live we'll catch you there next week